Okay, so this is my last video in this theater and I kind of want to go over what I'm, how I left it for the sale of the house. Talk about my, how I feel about leaving it. I mean, it's been almost a decades long project that I've very painstakingly put a lot of time and effort into and, 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 and you know, and the amount of enjoyment that I've got out, gotten out of this thing is, in, is in, immeasurable. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite places to be in. Uh, I, it's where I come to unwind and, you know, kind of get a little break from the rat race and from, you know, get stress release. Uh, I just love watching movies and, and in my opinion, there's no better way to watch a movie than in a, a really good dedicated home theater uh, system or room or wherever. It doesn't have to be a dedicated room, but um, just, you know, good sound system, you know, good screen, good good decent sized screen and you know your favorite movie and that's one of my favorite things to do and uh yeah I, i'm definitely gonna miss this room but i think i left it in pretty good shape for the new owner and uh, i think uh i think it's pretty solid i've listened to this room the way i've left it and it sounds really good I, honestly um probably would have been fine as uh, the way it is here for me uh it, it is up to my standards i would say and uh I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it and I feel I can pass the baton over to the next person. But anyway, I'll kind of give you a, a little tour, a mini tour of what I've done to this room and how I left it. Yeah, so this is the final iteration of the theater. Um, every, all my stuff is gone. Every, I switched out those back speakers for slightly smaller satellites. And uh, I took out my big bookshelves up there and put on the same satellite so I kind of switched up it switched it up again SVS subs are gone I have I put my uh, uh, clips uh, sub which I which I actually reviewed on the channel and I got I think was a ridiculous ridiculously good value um, really good really good sub and uh, I got my 9040 uh, towers here that I just got and I just reviewed and uh, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna tune the theater with MCACC and because uh, I've never done it with this even though I already listened to the ch I, I didn't even tune it and it sounded great already but I'm gonna do it and see what happens so yeah pretty much the same except for the front stage is pretty much completely different and you know pretty much changed out all the speakers in this room except for the surround speakers and the uh, top top ceiling speakers there. And the, obviously the projector is still the same. Um, and they're the same Pioneer Elite receiver. As you know, I had my Anthem processor and Emotiva amplifiers down there. So yeah, I'm gonna, there's the mic there and uh, that's the primary listening position. And uh, I'm gonna run this and see how it does. Now, now that I'm leaving this room, I'll kind of go and give you a sneak peek of the, of the new setup in the new house, which is pretty sweet. Uh, again, it's not even ready. We're just, what's, things are being still installed, but um, again, uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of how it's looking so far. And yes, we've already moved into the new house, but again, nothing's done yet. And the theater isn't done. It's not even close to being done, but uh, yeah. So uh, as you can see, I'm in my new theater room. Um, this is sort of a, like a preview. And as you can see, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, they're installing the projector over there. I got the, the rack back there. You can see the massive screen behind me, uh, which I'll give you a better look at. And uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on. So let me flip the camera around so you can get a better view. So first of all, let's start over at the rack. And uh, I'm just using my phone to record this right now because Still unpacking and I don't have, quite have everything ready. Again, I'm not gonna give a comprehensive look, but this is, got all the stuff. Got the Emotivas down there. Got the Anthem and an Adlona, which is like a video distribution unit. Onkyo, Yamaha, and Denon, trying to mix it up. Um, again, pretty cool. There's also, a, there's actually another rack in here that this is dedicated solely for like networking stuff. Uh, not full, isn't that, this one's, it's also gonna hold some extra like hardware. And yeah, we got the speakers up and the massive 165 inch screen. It's actually, this room kind of makes my massive speakers look small which is something I never thought would ever happen, but you know, this room accomplished it. 
it just I, you know they they look like normal sized even though they in the other in my old the home theater they looked massive completely like overkill but in this theater it suits it quite well um, again i got the uh lcr in ceiling speakers over there and yeah it is pretty sweet I actually had these these tower uh, these bookshelves as my uh, height speakers in my old my front heights in my old theater, and now they're I'm just using them as wides. I'm debating whether I'm gonna see if I can move these a little this way because I feel feel that they're a little too close to the front, but uh, we'll see if I can get that done. Center channel is gonna have to go up another five inches, unfortunately, but uh, or fortunately I need to. It just needs to happen. This is, it's too low and there's plenty of real estate for it to go up to, for it to match the, at least get closer to the tweeter height of the mains. Uh, obviously there's no matching, you know, the other speakers. You got the back for surrounds. All the, the side surrounds and the back surrounds are exactly the same. They're bipolar, like that definitive technology speakers. I went with definitive again, but you know, some people may not vibe with that, but I already had my front stage here with Definitives and they actually do really good. They're really good home theater speakers. Got the built-in subs to give a little more oomph and uh, which in this room, I feel I'm gonna need every ounce of uh, sub I can get. I'm also gonna put my SB2000s in the back of the room, both of them in the back. I got some, I got an RCA hookup down there for the subs, one on each side. And there's my FN 6050. Again, this is just a preview and this is some of the, I got a new VA Shield, some Apple TV. Got my Zydus, I got two Zydus to go in. Zydu and the smaller Zydu as well. And a 4K Blu-ray player, my Panasonic, which is great. Um, and I got a cable box in the rack already somewhere. And uh, I think I'm gonna at least put some of these gaming systems in there if possible. Um, they're older, but I do have an Xbox Series S in there. Um, got a bunch of extra cables here. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting times. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to give an update, show you that things are coming along and that I haven't quite disappeared from off the face of the earth. I've just been moving into the new house, unpacking, getting the new theater ready, trying to, uh, you know, unpack as quickly as I can without, you know, having our house a complete disaster. And at the same time, developing this awesome home theater, my dream theater, and I'm really stoked about it. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.